also like I'm talking real quiet because I am. Um, it's late. It's like really late, and my kids are asleep. But I shall see. I'm about to do an install, so I'm not going to do much of talking in this video. I'm going to do mostly, um, you know, showing y'all how I install my wig because I don't want to wake my kids. They sleep. I mean, gotta get up early. Oh, I look cross eyed. There we go. <laughs> so, anyway. See y'all in the next clip.
Hey y'all. So I'm done. <laughs> um I didn't cut off enough lace. I didn't cut off enough lace, so there's some lace showing. So lace wear right here. But that's my bad. Um right here I put too much glue at the end. I underestimated. Um that'll just rub off in a few days, or I could just use a um, alcohol pad, but I don't feel like doing like that right now because it's late. Um, I had a little mishap right here, if you didn't notice. Um, yeah, uh, I still had hair sticking out, so I have glue on my hair. So let's pray that my hair doesn't come out when it's time to take off this wig. I mean, it's only like two, three strands of hair, but still. Every strand counts. Excuse me. And if y'all can't see, which I tried to cover it up, like right here, you can't really see it. You probably won't be able to see it from far away. And I'm gonna have my hair down anyway, but right here, um, you can see the wig cap. So I got a couple little air bubbles right here. This isn't my best job. Ooh, my last install was my best job. But we're going to take this down and brush it out. Ooh, and we'll see how it looks. Um, like I said, I'm just going to be wearing it down most of the time. Ew. Not ill. I like the wig, but it's just... I can see the lace and that really bothers me. And I don't, I really don't feel like fixing it. Cause it's already glued down and that means I would have to take it off, not take the whole wig off, but I would have to like spray water or get like alcohol pad, wipe it off, cut it, glue back down, glue back down pad, nothing. Um, other than that, turned out pretty good. I'm just brushing it right now because I always brush my hair before, before I put it on and after because you don't want to put on a tangled wig and then put the glue down and then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Then after you glue it down, it's, I don't know, it's just easier for me. Honestly, I could like just put some foundation on and call it a day, but y'all know me. And I mentioned this a couple of times. I don't use foundation on my wigs because what for? Not what for, but just no, just no. Um, this is what I got. I don't know why this part is. I don't know why this piece is doing that right here. I just probably use some water in the morning and I'll yeah, probably just use some water in the morning and spray that part down just a little bit. So, I just says what it's looking like. It doesn't look too bad, but still, I know. And someone told me that um, I left too much lace on, and I didn't listen. So, I'm going to see something real quick. Nope, that's not going to work. I was going to see if I pulled out some baby hairs and swooped it, if it would, like, disguise it a little bit. But no, because you can still see it. Yeah, y'all, this is not my best job. And I'm disappointed in myself because, I mean, I'm doing better. It's just the only problem here is I left on too much lace. And that's why 
That's why we call it that. From far away, at least for me, because I'm blind. <laughs> from right here, I can't see it. I mean, I can see it, but it's not like... I'm lying to myself. I can see it. How am I going to take selfies, y'all? Ew. Anyway, I'm going to... I'm trying to figure out why this piece went right now. I'm going to, um... This is it. This is a body wave from, of course, the one and only um, Taylor Victoria collection. It is 20 inch, so it goes, you can't see, but it goes a little past my butt. If y'all didn't know, I'm short, clearly. This is the doorknob right here. I'm short. I'm 4'9", I'm not even 5 feet, so. 20 inches is good for me because I'm short. <laughs> I'm short. So anyway, I'm going to give y'all a quick turnaround. You probably can't see how long it is because I'm wearing a black shirt. But that's it. I'm kind of sad, y'all. I'm not sad sad but I'm just like I didn't cut off all the everything else is fine but I just knew this piece right here is going to be a problem because I cannot be out here taking pictures and be like lace wear and then like right there because then I'm going to be wanting to fight not really but I'm going to just be like yeah yeah I know yeah yeah I know so I'm going to probably take some pictures with a filter on Maybe it won't look as bad. But other than that, sorry, I thought I had to burp. I do have to burp. It's just not coming. Anyway, there it is. Excuse me. That's the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions. Leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you want me to shout you out in a video, because, you know, we don't have any new family members this video around, at least not while I'm filming. <laughs> but just in case, I'll say, hey, to our new family members. And, yeah. Welcome to the family. Get comfortable, grab snacks and all that good stuff, snacks, drinks, baked mac and cheese, collard greens, string beans, turkey, because it's a family reunion. All our long lost cousins, sisters, aunties, uncles, brothers will be here. So, Oh, I'm so sad. I'm not even sad because I don't even look bad. I just, I just know. You know how you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, oh, your wig is cute. And it's like, yeah, I know, but I didn't cut off enough lace. Where? I don't see it. You may not see it, but I know it's there. I mean, clearly you see it. Can you see from here? Like I said, I'm blind, so I wouldn't. You could see it, but honestly... First of all, I was going to be like, let me wear it like this, but that's giving me Adam's family vibes. What's her name? <laughs> the mom. But other than that, these are my results. That's pretty much how I glued my wig on. Well, at least the last two times because I've been watching YouTube videos and some people just put it all around their head. And then some people will do it like a section at a time. Like they'll do this side, this side. Well, not. They'll just do like this side, this side, and then this side. I have to do it that way because I have a really weird hairline. And I can't just go around like that because. Every time, every time I've done it like that. Not every time, but more than half the time I've done it like that. 
my hair was a mess. I mean, it wasn't a mess, but it was just like the wig was sitting too low. Because if I go based off of my hairline right here, because I have a piece, of, my hairline is like really close. It's like right here. That means my wig will be sitting on my forehead right here. And I made that mistake a couple of times. So, so it's just easier for me to do it section by section, which turns out a lot better. Anyways, um, I will see you in the next video. And if I take pictures, I'll, um, you'll see them. <laughs> if I take pictures, you'll see them. So, thanks for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. I look cute. Y'all, every time I put on a wig, I don't know what it is, but wigs accentuates my face. Honestly, I think it's the fact that my forehead don't look so big. That's why I look prettier to me. Like, I'm not ugly, but I, I have a really big forehead, as y'all saw. And I feel like with a smaller forehead, I would be more attractive. Anyways, um, Check out the cheekbones. Check out the lips, the shape of the eyes. I have a cute little nose. I know my eyebrows are a little wonky, but they're gonna grow back and they're gonna look good too. It's late, but I'm a bad bitch, okay? I'm a bad bitch, okay? I'm gonna say it again. I'm a bad bitch. With my forehead not showing. <laughs> I'm not ugly. I just I just don't like my forehead. I've always been insecure about my forehead. Since the beginning of time. Since the beginning of time. So, see y'all in the next video. Bye.